This video is sponsored by the Flute Center of New York. Let's start with the first one. Yeah, let's start with the first one. This is the mateki. So this mateki uh, is made of gold. Usually most matekis that you can find in the United States are usually made of silver, mm. which makes this one even more rare. How many they've made? Do you know? Uh, gold, I do not know. I know that they're really rare in the United States, the ones made of gold. Ah, yeah. in the United States, because yes. they're a Japanese yeah, exactly. brand, right? And the curious thing about this one, the owner of this flute's Mm -hmm. wanted to keep the head joint, so we actually oh. paired it with a Manka 14K ah. head joint, which gives it a beautiful tone. This is a beautiful instrument. Wow, that's pricey. I just saw the price. <laughs> Together is $41,900 used. How much would this go new? With a um, solid gold keys, yeah. I would say that it would go at least around fifty-five. Fifty-five thousand. Around that. <laughs> this is like holding two of my flutes. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, that's it's nice. It's beautiful. Half offset key as well. That's what I was wondering because I felt like I don't have to reach as far as an inline. I did not know that half offset was a thing. It's more popular in Japanese brands and other altas. Mm -hmm. On most of the professional model altas flutes, almost always the offset cheese is only half offset. Half offset. Yeah. That's super interesting. I didn't know that. I'm also partial to Manke too. Manke. right at the sweet point for people who think yeah. that offset G is way too low yeah. and inline is a little uncomfortable that's yeah. just the sweet spot well now you know guys you can get a half offset it's beautiful thank you, thank you. <laughs> i'm nervous just holding this this is like our the... museum flute this is the dryad's touch yes oh my goodness how do you even hold this i never really considered holding it this is uh the one where it's just leaves everywhere i think there's like some spider webs somewhere no gold I the crown is a turtle there's a little fairy right here on the head joint mm. even like the part where it puts the like the model and stuff like that it looks like a scroll like an old piece of paper yeah and one funny thing about this one if you look at the foot joints yeah. the rollers are kind of inclined oh you're right so they're actually closer what is the price of this one <laughs> i'll read it out this is also used which i'll ask what, how much it might go for you you don't even know i don't even know how much this would go new used is fifty-five thousand. Yeah. yeah which is today the normal price for false solid gold right which Foods this is with gold keys yes yeah. but this one has all the sculpted keys yeah which actually makes it a good price yeah. considering that it's all gold interesting and, and green gold. which i believe we asked what green gold was and it's just green gold <laughs> <laughs> and one thing about this flute is that it's actually a what we call the cpo the certified pre-owned which means oh. that it comes in a as new condition it comes with our standard service guarantee which means that people can actually send it back mm -hmm. uh, for any minor adjustments that they need if, mm -hmm. in case they purchase it so it's one of those flutes that it's included in our new program so essentially you get all the perks of buying Buy a, new a new flute, flute. yeah basically. but it is used that's really interesting because you feel this on yeah, your lips. It's very heavy too. Yeah, it's heavier than usual. Yeah. Can, you, can you hear it? too gold for me. It's very resistant. I feel like I'm going <laughs> and I, You know, legit, the slanted arms are pretty comfortable. Yeah, I agree, I agree. I it's, wish all of them were like that. I wish too. Because our fingers, whenever we play the rollers, yeah. our fingers are not like straight, straight on. It's actually curved. If we were to mod a flute to get it to slant like that, is that possible? Like, I believe so. Do you think it'd be pretty expensive to do that though? 
pro probably, no. right? Basically, it's possible if you throw enough money at people. <laughs> As I'm pressing the keys, I can feel the little leaves. Yeah. You become very aware <laughs> of which fingers you're putting down. And this key's a flower. Yeah, the C key. And I think the B is a leaf. The back. Oh yes, yeah. the B key is a, is a leaf. You paid less for your Tesla? <laughs> um, yeah, I believe it. I would suggest now playing the Damore because the one that we have next okay. is also going to be a mind game. <laughs> okay. This is actually the flute that kind of got this whole stream started. Altus Damore. It is a flute that is keyed in B flat. Wow! So you perfect pitch people are gonna have a great time. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that much of a mind game for me because I have really bad, I, like I don't have perfect pitch. Yeah. I have also very bad relative pitch. <laughs> this might still throw me though. So we'll it see. It will a little bit. Right? Everything is pitched a whole tone lower. Yeah. This is gonna be weird. Okay. <laughs> I literally just put my face here. <laughs> 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 it does feel like I'm playing an alto flute. Yeah, it does a little bit. Oh, what a nice sound. It has a beautiful sound. Oh. certain pitches where I'm like oh I need to make a little bit of an adjustment mm -hmm. right and then you do that on this one and it's the wrong one <laughs> I still can't find the hole <laughs> The D really throws me off because I'm like hearing a C That sounds really weird. How many perfect pitch people are going insane right now? I think you're killing the mirror. D, it would be in C. Yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, uh, my brain cannot. <laughs> This flute is ideal for for people who play clarinet or saxophone and they want like doublers. This That's is like the perfect so flute for doublers. True. They would like this tonal quality too. I agree. I noticed at least like for my students who are doublers, mm -hmm. they are looking for this very contrasting sound yep. to their reed instruments. Also, this takes a lot of air. Like it, it takes a surprising yes. amount of air, which is also good for doublers because doublers tend to put a lot of air into the flute. This one would be for 10,250. You know, not a bad price. Though. No, not at all. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's a silver flute. It's all so, silver. Yeah. There you go. All right, let's. Oh, this one. I want to hear you playing Mozart with it. Oh no! This is a Powell commercial okay. flute, but this one has two really funny things. This okay. flute has a reverse B flat thumb. Normally, guys, if you put your thumb on the thumb key that's closer to the head joint, you get a B flat. Mm -hmm. This one is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> this one that's closer that's normally thumb b flat is now regular thumb and then the other one presses both down oh that's weird to have yeah. that weight there oh well, much panic is happening yeah <laughs> <laughs> much. but that's and... not the only thing okay 
So this flute also has an open G sharp. You basically have to press your pinky key all, all the time. All the time. Unless you want to play a G sharp. G sharp is basically now G. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so you guys will see that that's why on the back there is no G sharp key on the back because there's no need for it. Yeah. Magic Monkey T asks, why would this be done? <laughs> Was this a factory error? <laughs> I think it was just a matter of preference, depending on the player, because it okay. was it was common to have those differences before and just started to evolve. And there I was some point in time where this was just a matter of preference because these were right. custom made. Okay, then got it. People could choose whatever mechanism they they wanted. Someone preferred this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chromatic scale. I'm already on the wrong thumb. That's weird. Okay. No! When I got off of the C sharp, I went right no, to the B right flat. Right okay. Oh my god. <laughs> my thumb almost went there. <laughs> Wait a second. High E flat uses the G sharp. Normally, do I let it go now? You let it go now. That's G sharp. Yeah. Mm. I got A right. Wait, so high C has the G sharp down, so I have to n not play it. Yeah. Okay, you know, I could see if you get used to it, it makes the high notes a lot easier. Yeah. Normally, it's high C sharp is this, but then you would just do that. Sorry, love. <laughs> so now you want me to play Mozart? <laughs> I have a few students who I would kind of classify as more like kinesthetic learners, mm -hmm. and they always get that wrong. Instead of doing that, they do that. Yeah. Which, like an open G sharp, would be perfect for them. Yeah. I also have some students who do the hanging pinky. Mm -hmm. And I actually wonder if they have something to put it on, if that would make life a little easier for yeah, them yeah. too. Well, let's start with F major scale. What? My brain is like completely broken now. Okay, it is that. Okay, okay. scale anymore. That feels weird. Okay. Nope. Nope. Better challenge, E flat major. What? 
Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick second to tell you guys about the Flute Center of New York. The Flute Center resident flutists are experts in all things flutes and are happy to help you find the perfect instrument, accessories, and sheet music. But really, they are more than just a flute shop. They are also passionate about creating inspiring content for all flutists to enjoy. So be sure to follow the Flute Center of New York on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for flute-centric performances, masterclasses, and content of all kinds. Links will be in the info section below this video. When purchasing a flute through the Flute Center of New York, you can use my code JAF at checkout at flutecenter.com or when requesting a trial. Code perks include free domestic shipping within the US, an extended 10-day trial instead of seven days, and an extended 18-month warranty instead of 12 months. You'll be able to try up to three instruments per trial at a time. Head over to flutecenter.com to request a trial today. Happy flute shopping, everyone. Now back to the video. Better challenge, E flat major. What? Because now you have A flat. <laughs> <clears throat> My brain's like, no, yeah. you're still on G. I move my thumb back again. No. I'm at B flat. I need to skip down. Okay. So if I go from. No. Okay. Was that going for again? Oh, this one goes for four, uh, 4,700. 4,700 and your sanity though. <laughs> so this is one of our most expensive piccolos. It's okay. a Powell made out of king wood and it has all gold mechanism. It's a beautiful instrument. Oh my goodness, look at that. That means it won't tarnish, right? Yeah. yeah. It's 19,190. Sounds beautiful though. All right, I'm ready. The crown is so pretty. Look at, look guys, look at that. That is so pretty. So dainty. <laughs> It's beautiful. 
beautiful. And the lower octave. It's so, it's so nice. nice. And powerful. Yo, that's dangerous, man. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah. Is it fairly rare to get king wood? The wood is rare, but we usually do carry at least one or yeah. two of those. So it's really the key yeah. work that makes this pretty yes. expensive, yes. right? It's mostly the key work. Now, yeah. does the key work at all like do anything to the sound? Or is it mostly the wood? It's mostly the wood. Okay. Like I could potentially still get that sound, but with silver instead. Yes. Also, it's a wave cut. Yep. I do find that I work better with a wave wood cut wave cuts. too. Me too. Yeah. And the wood is just really pretty. Cause if you guys can see all the wood grain. And that brown with the gold goes really well. Is it easier than my Nagahara Mini? A bit, yeah. If I'm being completely honest. It does play very easily. I actually find the lower octave of Nagaharas kind of hard to play. Yeah. Very resistant. Yep, I noticed that too. Yeah, that just comes right out. Like, you don't really have to think about it. That's you so sound beautiful. Nice. Thank you. That is dangerous as hell. It's a pickle for life, though. This one, eh? Yeah. yeah. Man, that is nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Lance! Thank you for your uh, uh, acknowledgement of my t-shirt. I appreciate it. This is actually my own merch. I love it. I saw your mask. <laughs> so. Love it too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is actually a Nakahara Mini, mm -hmm. which I know you played, but yep. this one is made of olive wood. How rare is olive wood? Not rare. Actually, Manka, for example, he works uh, with olive wood for almost every single one of his pickles, I think. So really? Yeah, can, it's growing. Uh, between uh, flute manufacturers. It's actually starting to trend now. Yeah, you can Very actually cool. also get a wood flute headshot made of olive wood, not just a pickle, a wood oh. headshot made of olive wood. You guys see how it's like a lighter wood? Yo, that's pretty, the wood yeah. grain. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, wow. It's very responsive. That's probably why people really like it. Yes. That very, very responsive. Yeah, it sounds beautiful. Wow. It's a little different from Canadilla. Very, very. It's extremely responsive. Yeah. No wonder it's trending. I find this one is like a little brighter. Two of your... Uh, penny whistle. Yeah. Not just one person. Two people agree. It's that penny whistle sound. So how much is it? 8,900. <laughs> We're trying some expensive stuff today. You're eating <clears throat> spam forever. You know. <laughs> There's two really interesting things about Nagaha Minis, right? One is that it's a cylindrical yep. instrument, meaning that most piccolos are conical in that this side of the piccolo is larger than this side mm -hmm. of the piccolo. That is why when you don't get educated about that, you get your piccolo cleaning cloth stuck in the body. We I get calls. I got my cloth stuck inside my pickle. We, get, we do get those calls. Yeah, I definitely have done that. That's how I found out that it was conical. But this is cylindrical, so it does change like the way it's tuned, right? Yeah, it does. It also can go down to low B. It's extremely long. That is how much longer it is. This one is like chonker at the end, right? Whereas this one is super tiny. I also yeah. notice how light this is. It is. It is a lighter wood. It's less dense, the wood. Yeah, I guess that's what gives it that kind of like penny whistle sound. Yeah. Mm. Are you guys even ready? We're good. That's <laughs> the bottom. I am smaller than it. For those of you who don't play the flute, because I know that some of you guys don't actually play the flute, I can assure you this is this is a flute. It, He's it's a liar. A, this so, is an abomination. This is not a flute. <laughs> I think I have seen one set up at a festival before. Mm -hmm but I was way too shy to try it. Now, this is a very special contrabass, though. Yes, yeah, so this is, is a Kingma contrabass. Most contrabasses we carry are actually made by Pearl or Dijon. This one is a handmade Kingma, which is a, a flute maker from the, ne the Netherlands. Female flute maker, which is even more awesome. How much does it weigh? A few pounds. <laughs> Maybe over 10 pounds? I would say. We're just going to see how I fare, especially after playing piccolo. Where the, oh my goodness, how? 
I like this sound. The sound is it so percussive. Good. Yeah. I feel like I'm playing double bass. It does go down it the low It does go down, down to low D. So if it's contra bass. Two octaves below. If two octaves below. So if middle C is C4, I can go down to C2. C1. B1. B1. doing one octave higher. Do most people no. end up doing that? Yeah, especially on the right hand okay. keys. Almost like trying to get a low whistle tone. Yeah. Did I get it? Nice, nice. Oh my gosh! Channel Dory. <laughs> we can also try to play with the head joint, maybe. Oh, and maybe turn it. Yeah, turn it a little me? bit towards you. I don't know if that will help. You have a song request if you would like. To What's the song request? In the oh. Hall of the Mountain King. Oh my gosh! It takes over here. Five parts. Five parts. So it has the okay. hand joint, yeah. and then this curved part, All right. and then this part, yeah. this part, and this part. I see that they're labeled. So, like, <laughs> the parts that like fit together are marked with the same number. Material. Material. This is all silver plated. It's also a really good stand. Uh, it's mm -hmm. made by Woodwind Design. I don't know if you know this brand. No, I don't. Yeah, Woodwind Design. They do uh, build uh, stands for all types of flutes, including, including piccolos. And this is like their carbon fiber woodwind design stand that is really, really good. And we also sell them here. Literally, there had to be a, a stand designed to hold this thing. When you buy the Kingma head yeah. uh, flute, it also right. comes with the um, stand included. I guess it, that makes sense because you can't really play exactly. it otherwise. So it adjusts kind of like a, almost kind of like a cello. And I believe we put me at the lowest setting. <laughs> because did. I am so short. <laughs> At first, when you guys set it up, it was like the head joint was like above me. Oh, there was one more question. What? There was a question of how to clean it and oh, whether yeah. you need a toilet brush. It actually comes with a cleaning cloth and a cleaning rod. Oh, that's what it comes with. That's actually really surprising. It's not actually as massive as I thought it would be. It's actually not that much bigger, guys. This is for the outside. You use your own regular cleaning cloth. Let's show you guys the case. It's actually made by uh, Weissman. It's a Weissman case. 
Look at that. Look at that. It's so huge. Like, it looks like a uh, like a saxophone case. It's quite little considering the size of the flute. That is, it. yeah, that is true. Regular flute case. Contra bass flute case. <laughs> Bring this to orchestra. Everyone's like, ooh, what instrument do you play? And you can be like, <laughs> flute. <laughs> thank you so very no much. I want to make sure we don't hit anything. Pedro, thank you so much for all of your thank help. Thank you. Yes, say hi. This is Pedro. Everyone, please give a round of applause to Pedro. And also a round of applause to Ninja Hub sitting on the side, basically making the stream actually happen. Thank you, all, obviously, to Flute Center for allowing me to do this. This is so much fun. They let me do whatever I wanted. Y'all are crazy. Can so, you tell them about I love how much it. cleaning they have to do? It? They have to clean every single one of these that I dirty right. now. Huge round of applause <laughs> to the Flute Center. All right, see you later, guys. Bye bye. This is Phil, guys. Hey guys. He's yeah. the owner of Flute Center. This is actually live? This is live right now. Hey, all you livesters. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs>